Hi, and welcome to another episode of Hot Takes with me, the Silver Fox. We have a story that will affect not just a lot of people, but as time goes on, an ever-growing number of people. Uh, because as we all get older, as the, as the nation ages, increasingly more of us will be reliant upon our pensions. And particularly for most people, it will be the state pension. Now, for many years, the state pension has had what's called the triple lock. Uh, and this is the way that at least something will advance within it based on uh, sort of on uh, average earnings, average inflation or uh, just a straight flat percentage rise. Uh, because Britain's pension, of course, is one of the worst in the world, certainly one of the worst in the developed world. Uh, and of late, because of this triple lock, it has been advancing. Thank you very much. Just, you know, nowhere, still nowhere near enough to live on, but at least to at least top up whatever provisions you've made for yourself uh, but because of the rules laid down many years ago one of which was the rate of inflation um, and a couple of years ago because of covid they made some um, rubbishy claim that oh it's a different it's an oddity whatever and they wouldn't put it up by as much as they should have done then last year they couldn't get away with it for the second year running uh, because it was after all um, a commitment no, absolutely, they kept uh, they kept pushing. It's a commitment. It's how they got into office. A commitment to this, uh, so they couldn't fail to meet their commitment two years running. So last year it had to go up, and it went up by a significant amount, ten percent. Now, with inflation still being stubbornly high, it means that inflation will drive it up even further this year. At least it should. There are plans afoot uh, for this government to renege on its promises again and fail to, you know, give this promised rise in the state pension. They're claiming it's too expensive, and yet somehow can find £100 billion a year to give away in foreign aid, rather than looking after its own people. Seems a very strange priority for a government. But we'll take a look at this piece to see why it's under threat, what the, the problems may be, and why we've got a government that seems determined to destroy people's you know, uh, retirement. Here goes. Now, of course, any increase is going to be expensive. There's a lot of people on the pension. And there's always going to be more and more as we are uh, increasing the number of people in the country and increasing, therefore, the number of people who are retired. But we get that. We understand that. But any claim that it is not affordable is clearly rubbish. Because if you can afford, as I say, 100 billion a year for foreign aid, then you can certainly afford to put the pensions up to a livable level. Uh, there's no two ways about that. To do anything else is just sheer lying by this government and by any government that follows it, uh, because I suspect that the uh, the Labour Party will probably do nothing of the sort either. They won't increase pensions by inflation because they don't like people having money. They like to have control. And if you are sort of tied to the government and in or not tied to the government and independent, that really upsets them. Uh, which is why I've got contempt for all politicians. But anyway, that's a, that's, that's a separate video. Having a look at this. State pension triple lock under, under threat as the policy faces heightened challenges. The challenges being inflation. And they keep pushing the interest rates up to try and drive down inflation. But the inflation isn't coming from anything within the country. It's external to the country. And it doesn't matter how high you put up our uh, interest rates. That won't affect the interest rates in foreign or the you know won't affect the price rises or uh, the inflation in other countries who we don't have control over so it's it's a very blunt tool that does nothing actually than harm people here because it won't affect the rising prices coming in from other suppliers across the world it's a globalist issue and not everybody is putting their interest rates up uh, anyway the triple lock policy guarantees the state pension increases by the highest of three criteria each year, with the state pensioners receiving a 10.1% increase in April. Uh, well overdue, and had the state pension gone up in line with inflation for, for the last 20 years, since the, since the turn of the millennium, uh, it, would nearly, it would be nearly twice as much as it is now. That's how bad it is. Uh, ministers may be forced to change the triple lock for the state pension as the guarantee becomes harder to fund, an expert has told the Express. The triple lock guarantees the state pension increase each year in line with either the 2% inflation. The triple lock guarantees the state pension increases each year in line with the highest of either 
2.5%, the inflation rate, or the increase in average earnings. Uh, and since inflation is currently sky high, so is the pension cost. Uh, pension has had a made boost uh, with, in April when they increased this uh, pension by record 10.1%. Now, inflation isn't going down anywhere as fast enough. Uh, and the government know this and they, they know that they're going to have to find perhaps another 10 or so percent this year. And they're going, oh my God, the cost, the cost, the cost. But that's fine. You've got tons of money. You're the government. You've got hundreds of billions of pounds. You can afford it. Your problem isn't the affording it. It's the wanting to spend it. It's the wanting to spend it on your own people rather than looking at virtuous and saying, oh, look, we gave money to these people. We give money to all these people over there. People who've never contributed to this country in any way, shape or form. We're giving them state aid. We're giving that aid there. We're giving dictators money so that they can just get rich and keep their people impoverished. That's what's happening. What they're not doing is looking at the people at home, the pensioners here, who've worked all their life and paid their taxes and gone, Do you know, maybe we should give them, you know, a suck of the sauce bottle here, you know, a fair shuck, something like that. They're not doing that. No, they're, they're, they're basically, <laughs> they're screwing the pensioners. They're screwing the pensioners so they can look good on the world stage and hand over a hundred million here. Oh, let's give Ukraine five billion pounds. How about let's not? How about give our own pensioners five billion pounds? Because that would be fairer to the people of this country. Anyway, many analysts have warned the triple lock may become unsustainable. And we've already shown that that's not the case. They can afford to give billions to Ukraine. They can afford a pension rise. Uh, another concern is as more people retire with longer life expectancies, the cost of state pension payments will continue to rise. Well, whose fault's that? Um, James Carter, head of pension products and policy at Fidelity International, told Express the triple lock will inevitably be affected by short term pressure as well as long term issues. The triple lock was suspended for one year only in 2022 as earnings bounced back following the wind down of COVID-19 furlough. Yeah, that was a, that was a convenient lie that was told. Um, it, it, they just kept a lie all the time because they just don't want to give these rises. Um, and it just goes on and it's just it's just a, it's just telling us how they're going to try and hustle us out of money. The point is, I mean, I'm get, I'm not pensionable yet, but I'm getting there. I'm looking it in the eye. I'm 10 years away, nearly. I'm 11 years away. Um, and I'm sort of going, right, how much will the pension be by, by then? And just judging by the inflation rate, I'm going, oh, yeah, yeah, I'll be fine. I'll be fine. You know, because I have other assets. I'm, I'm fortunate enough to have some other uh, income in there for my pension. It's all been sorted away. I mean, I'm not, you know, I'm not living high on the hog or anything, but I'm just getting it away from my pension because you can't live on the state pension. State pension's good. It's your base, but you need more. It's not there um, because this country is so mean with its pensioners. And yet, like I say, you can give hundreds of billions away to foreign countries, can't pay its own old people. It's terrible. And this is the Tory party through and through. And it's the Labour Party before that. Because if the Labour Party were any good, then under the last Labour government of Tony Blair and Brown, our pensions would have gone up massively. And yet, strangely, didn't. It's always screw the pensioner. Now, I know, I know a lot of my viewers are either on the way to pensioners or pensions because I look I get the uh, I get the, the breakdown of who watches and the vast proportion of my viewers are over 45 so they're either going to be you know pensions or coming up towards that, that that time in their lives and so this is very important and they don't want you don't want to be screwed I don't want to be screwed and yet time and time again we're screwed it's just not right Anyway, I'm going to come up and finish there and we'll, we'll finish the video. But it just seems very, very unfair, doesn't it? Anyway, enough moaning about that. Coming up. It is odd, though, that they always say, oh, we can't afford this or that's too much money and that. And yet, as I say, hey, there's five billion. Let's just give it five billion across to the Ukraine. We're not auditing it. We're just throwing it in. You know, we don't know where it's going. We don't know who's having it. Five billion pounds. Five billion pounds of my money, of your money, of our money. Where's it gone? Where's the receipts? Who knows? How do we even know it's going in? How do we know? And this is a, this is a genuine thing. That all these countries that are throwing billions upon billions upon billions are coming in from countries into, that, into the Ukraine. That money then is going straight back out. This is a money laundering scheme and it's all going back out to individuals. You know? 
secret little funds so that these politicians who pledge money from their country's taxpayers can then take it and reap it. And they go, I'll throw mine in. We'll split that later. You know, all the money goes in, then we'll all split it. It doesn't matter. That's what's happening. It's undoubtedly what's happening. Wouldn't arrange, wouldn't surprise me if this whole thing with Putin wasn't even pre-arranged. But, uh, you know, that's speculation. That's another video. But it, it just goes to show that when they say they can't afford a pension rise, they're lying. They are two-faced lying liars. Because, yes, they can. Because if they can afford to give five billion to Ukraine and a hundred billion a year in foreign aid, they can afford an extra billion or two on the pension. And if they say they can't, we know they're just plain lying. They just don't want to. As we get old, we're getting more and more powerful. The, the, the number of old people are increasing and we need to vote on block. And we need to have a compact. And that is that we have the grey vote and we say to them, say to all the parties, you know, we don't care. We don't care who we vote for. Here's the deal. Which of you is going to offer us the biggest pension rise? That's it. That's what we're going to vote on. And you see them racing because they know whoever can come up with the biggest pension rise will get that vote will be the next government. We are many. They are few. We should we should take action. Somebody should set up uh, a pension path, pensioners party, uh, and we just go in to government to make sure we're all right because those buggers are going into parliament to make sure they're all right. So why shouldn't we? Anyway, I shall round off there. Thank you very much for listening. It is a shame about the pensions, though. And it wouldn't surprise me if they did, um, they did try and screw us over again this year. Uh, anyway, as I say, thanks very much for watching. If you like what you've seen here on the channel, please hit the subscribe button. Leave a like, leave a comment, please share the video. And until next time, stay safe, stay well, keep saving, and goodbye.